Hi, and happy holidays to our Thread community. 2020 has definitely been one for the books, to say the least. But as it finally draws to a close, I can say that I am deeply thankful to have had the chance to work this year with some very inspiring teams at a dozen nonprofits, including the DC Bar Foundation, City Kids Wilderness Project, NAMI Montgomery County, Everybody Wins, and the FDMAS Alliance. <clears throat> I'm wishing our friends at these organizations and the many other thread partners that I know and love a really happy, healthy end to 2020 and a really fantastic 2021. Hey, Stella, who are you thinking about today? Ooh, good question. This year in particular, my friends at Mama Toto Village, Our Minds Matter, The Musicianship, The Gay Men's Course of Washington, and Good Faith Media, and all of the organizations I've been lucky enough to work with, they've really kept me going. They have handled the ups and downs of 2020 with grace and innovation, and I'm proud of how they've continued to move their missions forward, even if it's not exactly how they anticipated. I cannot thank these organizations enough for wel welcoming me into their communities this year. And speaking of welcoming, it was our honor to welcome Abigail to the Thread team this year, and she's hit the ground running. Abigail, why don't you tell us about your year? Hey, Stella. Little did I know when I joined Thread in January that I'd only get a handful of chances to connect with our team in person before being relegated to Zoom for the rest of the year. But despite all the virtual requirements, I felt incredibly welcomed by the Thread community and grateful for the chance to work with so many of you this year. I want to give an extra big shout out to my friends at River Life, the Greater DC Diaper Bank, Let's Go Boys and Girls, and CBF North Carolina. Thank you for your thoughtfulness and partnership. I've just been blown away by how each of you has stepped up to meet the needs of your communities this year. And Taryn, it's been so fun getting to work with you on some of these projects. Thanks, Abigail. We could not be happier to have you as part of the Thread team. Thanks for jumping right in on this roller coaster of a year with us. One of the best parts of working for Thread is that even though we've been stuck at home, we still know that our work is having a real impact in communities all over the map. To my friends at all the organizations that have already been mentioned, plus the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh, St. John's Community Services, Central Baptist Theological Seminary, and the Reformation Project. Thank you for allowing us to support you and your communities. Hey, Anna, I know you've enjoyed escaping the homeschool in your living room to support a few of our partners too, right? Absolutely, Taryn. I definitely never expected to take on teaching my three young children due to a pandemic, and I'm extremely grateful that I also got to stay connected to the nonprofit sector by working hand in hand with the great folks at Seabury Resources for the Aging and the Institute of Jewish Spirituality. I'm amazed by all the members of the Thread community who've had so many balls thrown at them this year and managed to juggle all of them. I know you've done some of that too, Holly. You know it, Anna. Yeah, big shout out to all of the working parents out there. We're not sure how you've done it because we're not sure how we've done it either. But in any event, big kudos to everybody for balancing a super tricky year for work-life balance. I know that I've drawn inspiration from my friends at Art Nables, the Modern Classrooms Project, Baptist Women in Ministry, Horizons Greater Washington, and Housing Unlimited, as well as the many other partners that I've gotten to cross paths with this year. You're all an inspiration and I admire your perseverance and your good spirits in these really weird times. So, whew, what a year, huh Lori? To say the least, Holly. 2020 will be a year we don't soon forget. Along with all of the obvious reasons this year has been unforgettable, 2020 also marked Thread's fifth anniversary. Though we weren't able to host the party we wanted, we absolutely felt the support and love of this growing community, which is what that party was all about anyway. When we look back on this milestone, we'll always remember how each of you joined us in coming together, not just to get through it, but to thrive in the face of so many challenges. It's been my absolute honor and privilege to work with so many partners this year, including World Central Kitchen, the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, Kids for Peace, Fair Chance, and LGDA, along with many of those who are already mentioned by the team. To all of our 2020 partners and the 43 additional nonprofits we've worked with in the last five years, as well as to the numerous nonprofit professionals we've had the honor of working with to deliver our services, we respect and appreciate you more than we could ever fully express over just one cup of coffee. Please know it is working with you that brings us daily joy and inspiration, which we all need as much of as possible right now. So 
As you all say goodbye to 2020, finally, and welcome 2021, the Thread Team wishes you a year of health, happiness, and prosperity, and we look forward to the chance to see you again soon, first on Zoom and eventually in person. Thanks everyone, happy holidays.